Oh crap! I've got a call Shanene! It's Frederick! Hello? Hey, what's up? Oh my god, like what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are we still on tonight? Okay, good, because when you come in to get me, I have to show you my crabs. Oh, that really puts a damper on my day. <laughs> Not those crabs, silly. The ones that, like, move, like, on their ten legs, and they eat snails and stuff, and it's really gross because I hate snails. And they live in the ocean, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so we're still good. All right. So, when am I going to pick you up? Just pick me up whenever you want. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye then. See you later. Esther, get the door. It's Frederick. You must be Frederick. Come inside. Shanae is getting ready, but she'll be down soon. Hey, guess what, guess what? What? I just turned eight yesterday, and I got these wings because I'm a butterfly. And did you know that butterflies Shanae. use wings to fly? Shanae. And you have to use a beat. <laughs> Esther, come eat. Ravioli, you ready? Um, butterfly. Well, you better come eat it or you're going to have to go to your room. Butterflies don't have rooms. Ha <laughs> ha. They live outside. I don't care if you're a butterfly. I'm going to spank your little butterfly butt if you don't get in here and eat right now. I'm ready. Dang, baby girl got back. Bye, Esther. Hmm. Hi, welcome to Poshishi. Hi, how many in your party? Thank you, count me, him, and Fred Jr. I never leave home without him. Alright, that's just sick. Would you like a high chair booster seat for Frederick Jr.? Uh, no, it's pretty cozy in my pants. Frederick! Look what I can do! Oh. Awesome! <laughs> Me too! Frederick, you look like, so sexy head of your nose. <laughs> oh, you do too. Oh, uh, thank you, baby. Awesome! I forgot to bring a pen. So what would you guys like? We both want octopus. Oh, we don't have octopus here. Why not? They live in the ocean. Duh. We can't get octopus. Let's bring us something. Yeah, bring us something. When is she coming? I don't know. Fine, eat this. <laughs> what is this? No!
Well, you know, the usual. Unicorns and, you know, I do love making amateur raps about sponges. Nah, -uh, you should yeah. show me some when we get you hot. Hop in my killer minivan and I will. <laughs> All right. Your cherry new ladies. <laughs> One day I was walking down the street when I thought it spoiled something really super neat of all things it turned out to be a sponge So I walked over and took a lunch Come on people, sponge is only used to signify the kind of sponge we were too poor to buy So instead of leaving this poor sponge to go it alone I walked over, packed him up and took him home I grabbed a pen and with a heave I decided to name him Steve After a little while, Steve began to speak. He was like, oh my god, this place is really weak. I was like, what's up, homie? This is my pad. What other place could be more rad? He said, well, for starters, sponges are all aquatic. And eat food on a level that's almost microbiotic. Oh, you're aquatic, you say? Why didn't you say so? So I put Steve in a nice bowl of H2O. You see, I quenched my sponge fascination by solving Steve's tiny complication. Well, unfortunately, this little fix did not last long. I could definitely tell there was something wrong, so I picked up little Stevie and gave him a shake. Just like I thought he'd swim in his lake. He looked up at me like he had something to tell. And that's about the time he began to yell. He said, what you thinking, boy? I can't fly like a canary. Most sponges are stationary. So I put him back in his bowl so he could sit still. And I thought to myself, these sponges must have a lot of time to kill. When I returned, the sponge was still unhappy, thought the food in the bowl was really kind of crappy. So in the end, I knew I had to dismiss the sponge that would keep on acting like this. So I went down to the ocean, found a nice spot to set free the sponge that seemed like it constantly fought. Steven seemed happy in his native land with all the birds, fish, water, and sand. In the end, I learned my lesson, no need to fib, never tear away a sponge from his crib.